So th there's always some confusion around Manchester and Birmingham. And I think, you know, let me clear it up for you. So a lot of people think that Manchester is a bigger city than Birmingham. Birmingham is actually the second largest city. It's the second city behind London. And the interesting thing is most people, when they see Manchester, they see Manchester city centre and they see Greater Manchester. So if you account for Greater Manchester, then actually it is a bigger place. But Birmingham is certainly going great guns. What Birmingham is doing is expanding its city centre by 25% in the big city plan. But I think both, for me, are very viable and great places to invest. You know, we do a lot of property there. We have a lot of investors investing there. But I think the key is, a lot of people think Manchester is bigger than Birmingham, but actually it's the other way around. But when you account for the greater Manchester area, and, and understand, when I talk about Manchester and where to invest, I include parts of greater Manchester. It's like anywhere. London is great, London is fantastic, and I think it's got the best fundamentals on earth. But there are areas of London where I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. So you've got to pick your areas. So when I say greater Manchester, I don't mean just anywhere. I mean, I certainly wouldn't be going to, in fact, I won't say Bolton, I said Bolton. Places like that, I'm probably not going to invest in. But things like Salford, yeah, no problems whatsoever. Things like Trafford, yeah, no problems. So you've got a number of areas where actually I think are fantastic and there's lots of regeneration going into. And you know what, I have a go at Bolton because you know what, I bought some property there years and years ago. I don't think it's ever gone up. It's been a terrible investment because there's been no investment in that area for a long time. It's in a state of decay. The, the interesting thing with that is if all of a sudden there was a massive influx of investment in that area, then sure, why wouldn't we invest there? But is that likely to happen? Probably not. So when you're looking at Manchester, when you're looking at Birmingham, you've got to pick your areas, is, is I guess the lesson you're talking about. Birmingham is the second, second city of, uh, of the UK, followed by Manchester. And look, I'm leaving out Edinburgh and I'm leaving out uh, Glasgow. I'm leaving out anything in Wales because realistically they fall under different, because the Devolution Act, effectively they fall into different laws. So we don't really look there. So I'm talking more about Britain in terms of when I talk about property. Even though I say the UK, you know, Northern Ireland, don't touch. So really we're talking about Britain when we're talking about the UK property market. And I think that's the part that most people have exposure to. That's the part that most people will invest in. And it is where people should be investing. So guys, like, follow, subscribe, and I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. Are there any areas you think that are uh, better than Manchester and better than Birmingham or London? You know, LMB, which is my sort of, uh, you know, three chosen areas that I really think are the places to invest going forwards, 2024, 2025 onwards. All right, guys, talk to you later. See ya.